Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Nostalgia FPS, and thank you for tuning in to another video on the channel. So, as you guys saw from the intro clip, I was playing a free-for-all on C-Town with MK14. I was going for a Moab for a video, but uh, this guy in the lobby obviously didn't want me to get it. He was uh, somebody that I saw had a 4KD before the game started, and I thought that was kind of impressive, but it's pretty clear why he has a 4KD if he's kicking everybody that's going to Moab him. Anyway, even though I didn't get that Moab, I did get a Moab in the gameplay you're seeing in the background. It's actually a double fail. One thing I want to talk to you guys about is kind of like standards here on my channel. Um, I post a lot of Moabs that are just ACR, MP7, and that's basically all that I have on my hard drive right now. Uh, I still have some Moabs with other guns and stuff like that. But I want to kind of up this up the quality, I guess, a little bit for you guys, if that's even possible in 2021. Basically, what I'm saying is I want to start going for double Moabs um, and kind of make it a standard. If I'm using ACR or MP7, that it'll be a double Moab fail, a double Moab, or like a Moab on a random map like Downturn. I do have one of those saved outposts, like. Um, or put it in some kind of like montage or um, something a little bit more entertaining than like a five or six minute Moab with ACR. Anyway though, I was kind of rambling there. What I kind of want to talk to you guys about with this video is Modern Warfare 3 in 2021. It's the same game as it was in 2020 and the same problems are still plaguing it this year. So um, I've written down a couple of problems that I want to talk to you guys about and let me know what you guys think of them in the comment section below. So don't get me wrong, I mean this is a video talking about the problems of MW3, it's still my favorite Call of Duty of all time, but uh, the first problem that I want to talk to you guys about here is Stealth Bombers, and that extends kind of more to the whole support package, the fact that you can get 18 kills in a game and get an EMP, um, those kills don't have to be consecutive, um, I, I just think this support strike package is a, a problem and it's something that's bothered me for a really long time. I cannot stand getting killed by a Stealth Bomber off of a Moab. Um, especially when it kills you inside of buildings like the library in Sea town and different spots that you're just, you're never safe from it. The next thing, and which is what you saw in the intro clip, it was kind of the inspiration for this video, was God Mode users and Headless users. Of course, Headless is an extension of a God Mode class. It's, uh, when you use the God Mode class incorrectly. I don't have any God Mode classes, but, uh, this is just my understanding of it. Um, but... When you're able to cheat and also to kick players out of a game, that is one broken class, and you don't have to have an RGH or anything like that. It is just somebody has modified your account to let you have classes like that. For a third point here, RGH users can pose some form of a problem for players in Modern Warfare 3. Um, RGH is a term for a modified Xbox, but there's also modified PlayStation 3s if you guys are on that platform. But basically, the fact that they can pull your IP and uh, boot you offline, and they can derank you, all that kind of stuff that comes from a mod menu. It's just going to be a problem for Modern Warfare 3 this year. I'm noticing players who never had RGHs in the past are now buying them, and it's just kind of becoming a problem of players who, I don't know, maybe they're getting a stimulus check, but they buy a modified Xbox, they pay for the stealth server, and then they're off to cheating all the time. Point number four here is that Blast Shield is broken. Now, of course, Blast Shield actually does have some use. You're able to reduce flash and stun time by 50%, and you also get um, some coverage against, you know, frag grenades, simtexes. But what you don't get very much coverage from is C4s. I could be on a 23 kill streak, one off my Moab, you know, all perks in the game, including Blast Shield, and boom, somebody throws a C4 at me. I'm at full health, but it still kills me because Blast Shield didn't cover me. C4 is an explosive, and Blast Shield protects you from explosives, but when Blast Shield doesn't save you from one specific explosive, then the perk's broken. It needs a rework. And in my opinion, that's the way it should be for Blast Shield. It should be reworked if, you know, they ever remaster this game or something like that. The same thing applies to Simtex, is if I'm anywhere in the radius of that Simtex, I'm gonna be red screened, and then I have to find some cover, um, basically immediately, because I am one shot. If the perk is supposed to save me from explosives, it shouldn't leave me hanging by a thread, barely surviving, just ready to get one shot by somebody. It should actually support me and, you know, not leave me at 1 HP. Alright, the fifth and final problem for this video is a personal opinion of mine, but it's that high tier assault streaks are not worth it. The fact that so many maps like Underground and Arcaden are just not built for assault streaks, and the fact that your kill streaks get shot down so fast makes it seem like you know, the high tier assault streaks like the Osprey Gunner, the Pavlo AC-130, they're just not worth your time. 
I would really like to run those streaks once again and enjoy them like I did in 9v9 back in the old days, but ground war is dead and those streaks are just too hard to earn and there's not enough reward for using them. I'm sure there's more obvious problems that I could have talked about, but that's one problem that I think about all the time is that assault just never feels worth running. They just get shot down so fast and I would rather just run UAV care package predator missile if I'm going to run assault because I have a better chance of doing well with that than I do a support juggernaut or an assault juggernaut and an osprey gunner. Anyway, those are my top issues for Modern Warfare 3 going into 2021 outside of the obvious stuff like the servers dying or just the game not being populated anymore. I could talk about how bad the connection is on console, but I think everybody knows that. The main thing for me is Modern Warfare 3 is a solid Call of Duty. It's one that's still worth playing even on its 10th year. It came out in 2011. But um, yeah, those are basically my thoughts on Modern Warfare 3 as of right now, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking or subscribing, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.